Hello and welcome to the 8th tutorial in the Cocos 2DX Flappy Bird C++ series and in this part we're going to be looking at moving the pipes. We'll be continuing with the source code from the previous part of this series so if you don't have it don't worry there'll be a link in the description to the source code. Okay we have pipes spawning but they do not scroll plus they randomly spawn on the screen which is fine for now because we were just checking make sure the spawning was A-OK aka the gap but, but this needs to be updated to spawn outside the screen and obviously scroll as well. So first we will create a hash defined for the pipes movement speed. So we're going to go to our definitions header and we're going to do hash define pipe underscore movement underscore speed and I'm going to put 0 0.01 again this will be factored in with the screen's size so you can adjust this accordingly if you want it faster or slower and now we will update the pipe position so it's born outside the screen aka to the right so it's going to go to a pipe.cpp and the only one we need to update is this one because the bottom pipe position is set according to, or at least the x-axis, because that's the only one that needs to be updated, is set according to the top one right here. So what we're going to do is we'll get rid of everything that we do so far, and we'll just type it out again. And what we want to do is visible size, dot width, plus top pipe, get content size, dot width, plus origin dot x and if we were to run this now what would happen is you would get pipes spawning but they'll be off the screen so technically you wouldn't actually see them the last step is to create the action that will move the pipes but we will factor in the screen size so they move the same speed on a retina ipad on a non retina ipad for example so what we're going to do after we've just added these pipes we're just going to do auto top pipe action equals move by colon colon create we do pipe movement speed times by visible dot width and for the position or the amount we want it to move by we're going to put minus visible size dot width times by 1.5 and this will just make sure you fully goes off the screen and we don't want it to move in the y-axis and well, now what we're going to do is copy and paste this and we can just rename top pipe action to bottom pipe action and now we can just run these actions so top pipe run action top pipe action once we're done here, I want you to, in your own time, experiment with the hash define, see what they do so you can get a better understanding and their uses. Plus also try and make it suit your needs because you may want it faster, you may want it slower, you may want the gap bigger or smaller and so forth. And that's the great thing about doing hash define, you can just easily change it and those can sort of go hand in hand with settings. And the bottom pipe run action and then let's just the bottom pipe action. Now the last thing to do is just simply run it so you can see the pipe scrolling. Flappy Bird is supposed to be coming back onto the App Store, I mean the original one made by Dong Gwen. And it's supposed to be sometime during the summer with some extra multiplayer or split screen functionality. Also read because he took it off the iOS store that he can't get his name back anymore on Google, apparently he can, but on iOS somebody else has got the name because he gets freed up when he takes the application off, but he can't get it back. So that'd be interesting, but if he brings it back, he'll get back in the top chart pretty quickly. So let's just click play. We got our screen, and as you can see, it says spawn pipe, spawn pipe, and now we have pipe spawning and scrolling. You might think, you might look at it and think they say a little laggy and it is it's simply because the frame rate isn't high and that's nothing to do with the application or Cocos 2DX that's just a simulator I've tried um, not just this version but the final version that will be created on my devices and it works great it's just because of the simulator so that's just something you'll have to bear in mind but again you're not selling it so people can sell it on I mean use it on the simulator 
So that's it for this tutorial. In the next part of the series, we're going to be looking at the Flappy Bird class creation. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.